Okay, so next step in loose leash walking, once you've got the right equipment, the next thing you're gonna do is teach the dog the proper positions for where he needs to walk. Typically in formal obedience, the word heel was used to have your dog on your left side and to walk with you. We're gonna modify that just a little bit. Heel is the left side position, but it doesn't mean walk with me, it means be on my left side. If I want the dog on my right, I'm gonna use the word side. And again, the idea is to teach the dog that if you say you, know, you want the dog on the left or the right, depending on the environment you need to navigate, the dog will understand which side of you to be on. The cue that we'll use to walk forward is let's go. And that way it doesn't matter if the dog is on the left or right. Let's go means just let's go forward, okay? So the first thing we're gonna start out with is trying to get a dog into a position where it doesn't even learn to pull but we will address pulling as part of the next segment on loose leash walking. So to start, I want to put River in front of me. So River, come front. You see I'm using the treat to position him in front of me in sort of a home base position. River, River, sit, good boy. I'm going to start with putting him on my right. I have a handful of treats in my right hand. The leash is going to be in my left hand. The leash is only here to keep him from leaving my training space. When you're working at home, I even suggest people do this without the leash when you're in a secure, safe place. I'm gonna put the treats on his nose. I'm gonna step left, I'm gonna leave my hand here, turn my hand over, side. He's gonna make a small circle and follow me. And River, the last piece is a sit. Yes, good boy to start to, to try it again. River, come front, come front. And what I'll do is I'll back up, A, to give myself more space, and B, to get the dog lined up right between my feet. River, sit, river, roll, okay? So again, you have several pieces of treat in your hand. Keep in mind, you've got to get good at the dexterity of delivering treats when you've got three or four in your hand. Because if you have to keep fishing for the treat, you're gonna lose some dogs. I'm gonna put the treat on his nose, let him nibble at it. I'm gonna step left, turn my hand over, side. This, oop, don't step on your dog. River sit. Yes. Now, also notice, I did not say sit four times because he didn't do it immediately. I waited for him to do it. When he figured it out, then I got him the treat. Okay? River, come front. Now we're gonna switch and we're gonna to go to the left. So if I want the dog on the left, then I have my treats in my left hand, the leash in my right hand. And your leash is gonna stay in this position even when we start doing the walking. And the reason is that I want you, in the, in the early stages of teaching loose leash walking, you need to have incentive for the dog to stay with you. And so you need that hand free. Oops, he thinks I dropped a treat. So River, come front, sit, or boy. Okay, take my treats put them on his nose, this time I'm stepping to the right, River, heel, and I step forward so that he follows me, and notice too, River, sit, yes, I don't let my hand drift out here, because what's going to happen, he's going to follow the treats out there if I drift my hand, pretend you have a wall on the seam of your jeans that stops your hand, Sometimes I'll tell people to lay their arms straight down their side, and that's where the dog should be. He's now set up in the perfect position to walk forward on a loose leash. Okay, River, come front. Sit. Again, you always want several pieces in your hand at once. Put the treat on his nose, step to the left. Heel, turn him around, and River, sit. Yes. Good boy. Good job. So this is how you position a dog to get ready for loose leash walking.